Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to the Pet Expo YouTube channel. This is Barry and we got an awesome reptile order today. We're looking at one of the bearded dragons that we got in. These guys make wonderful pets, kind of like the dog of the lizard world. Very interactive, omnivorous, so they eat both fruits, vegetables, and meaty products such as crickets, cockroaches, mealworms, waxworms, and superworms. They get about 24 plus inches, so a 40 gallon tank on minimum. And these guys need a full spectrum UVA, UVB light. And along with that, you want to keep their basking point at about 95 to 105 degrees. These guys do live a long time, anywhere from 12 to 15 years. Our next one that we're going to pop out. is a very active Jackson's Chameleon. You can see his very long horn. This is one of the old world chame chameleons, which actually means that this is going to be one of the live bearing chameleons also. So if you get a male and a female, they will have live young. These guys are not meant to be held very often. As you can kind of see, he's checking me out or turning his way or his eyes back to make sure that I'm not approaching in any aggressive manner. But these guys are best to just look at. Elevated tank, so anywhere from a 20 to a 40 gallon set on end. So they have lots of vertical. And you try to keep the heat on these guys between 80 and 85 and humidity 60% plus. So doing live plants will definitely help that out. Or an automated misting machine and or a waterfall. Next ones that we got, I'm going to stick this guy back here. And we'll take a look at the beardy while I'm doing that because the Jacksons doesn't want to let go. He's very cuddly here. Next one is going to be our little veiled chameleon. We do have extra ones of these guys. We just picked one of them. Now this is going to be a much larger chameleon and it's an egg layer. Full grown snout to vet is going to be about 9 inches long. They live an average of 5 to 7 years in kind of the same type setup. Open air screen about the size of a 20 to 40 gallon tank and have it set vertically with a lot of decoration to make these guys feel comfortable the more they can grab onto and the more they can hide the more comfortable they feel one of the things with chameleons also is to watch their eyes the more sunk in their eyes are the more hydration they need they should bulge out quite a bit just like what you're seeing right here on this one our next animal that we have came in today is going to be some Okatee corn snakes. These guys get anywhere from four to six foot long. Very pretty coloration on these guys. They get that nice bright orange, red, and white coloration. Corn snakes are very, very good pets. About a 20 gallon tank for them. Keeping that heat between 80 to 85, relative humidity between 40 and 60 percent. And always provide these guys with a hide so they have a comfortable spot to take a nap. Next type of corn snake is going to be our Miami phase. This one's going to have more of those grays. As you can kind of see, he looks like he's about to shed too. So a little bit more dull. Really, really nice specimen on these guys. <laughs> Corn snakes seem to be one of the calmer type cool breads. So easier to handle, less bitey, more acclimating to handling. And then if you feed them once a week, it keeps them on a nice constant diet. We're looking at an albino here. See those nice yellow and orange colorations mixed with the red and white really makes that animal pop. The next snakes we'll look at are going to be some ball pythons. These guys are probably one of the greatest beginner snake pets. Tank size should be about a 40 gallon with at least two hides, one with moss underneath of it for shedding and the other one being a dry hide. And also a water bottle that is as large as the snake so they can fully submerse when they are needing to. Also with these guys, they get anywhere from four to six 
feet long depending if they're male or female. Very non-aggressive. Usually they will just back right up instead of coming out. And also very curious snakes, so acclimate quite well to handling. But on pythons you can see these heat sensitive pits right up on their face. It actually works just like a thermal imaging camera so they can pick out their warm items or their food items and be just that much better of a hunter. Now a cool thing on ball pythons is their lifespan. Most of your corn snakes and cold breads anywhere from 20 to 25 years. Ball pythons have been reported to live over 30 or well over 30 years on those guys. Next ones we're gonna go to that we got in today is gonna be some geckos. Got a couple fat tail geckos in today. These guys, just like your leopard gecko, require a 10 gallon tank. They're an insectivore, so mealworms, waxworms, serpa worms, and crickets and cockroaches. And you can give them every once in a while, maybe once a week, baby mice as for a treat. These guys handle very, very well, acclimate very well to interaction with humans. They should be provided at least one hide in their 10 gallon tank and then try to get their relatively heat between 90 and 95 degrees and best to keep moss underneath that high just for shedding purposes. Also on the fat tails, just like the leopard geckos, all their food storage or their fat storage is collected in their tail. So the bulkier the tail, the more that animal has stored and the healthier the animal is. One last special one that we got in today is for a fun one. open the box up and peek at him here this is a Mata Mata turtle this is actually an ornacle so it's gonna have that nice bright red coloration on the bottom we'll try to pick her up here and just check her out this is like a South American version of a snapping turtle because just like some of your snake necks they have very very long necks you can see how she's kind of bent to the side there and with that long neck she uses it as a vacuum to suck in those fish you can see right off her nose, she has a little tiny snorkel there. So just like a soft shell, she'll stick that nose out to take a breath and then spend all that time underwater. So very rarely exposing themselves just in case of breeding. This guy will get quite large, 20 inches plus over a long period of time. And they are fish eaters. So anything from guppies to rosy reds, goldfish are kind of like the potato chip of the fish world. If you can get it acclimated to frozen, silver sides would be wonderful for them. Or if you have a collection of South American cichlids, it'd be some of their natural food items. If you have any further questions on the animals that came in today, please give us a call at 507-625-2505. This is Barry from the Pet Expo YouTube channel in Mankato, Minnesota.